and in Kumasi mourners of the late Nana Efia Kobi Sewa Ampem the second in Kumasi have been exposing the great attributes of the Asante Hima as a mother unifier and conflict resolution expert. A historian and traditional researcher Osei Bonsu Safo has been speaking to our reporter Catherine Frimpoma on the attributes of a queen mother whose burial rights is drawing thousands to the Asante kingdom. We are still here at the Manshia Palace, and I have with me a historian and a researcher, Osei Bonsu, Safo Kantanka, to explain things to us. Tell us who is Nana Efia Kobise Wampem. Nana Efia Kobise Wampem is the queen of Asante, um, born in 1905, four years after the Yasantua War and nine years after the Asantehine Prempet Affairs has been exiled to the Seychelles Island. How did she become queen? Well, uh, she grew up at Mwasi in the Brunhafu region uh, in very many areas. Mwasi in the Brunhafu region is one. Kwadaso in Kumasi is another. And of course, uh, at the age of in, the, in her teens, she was, the rites of puberty was perform, performed for her. And after the puberty rites, she was also initiated into the Anglican Church. It's a wampim, or as he's affectionately called, Nanefia, was a merchant, or to, in simple terms, a trader. She traded in lumber and clothes. The kingdom, especially about the late Queen Mother, Nana Efia Kobi Sewa Ampem II, he had explained to us what it means for her to be laid in state for four days and then what is going to happen for her final internment at Bremai, also in the Ashanti region. My name is Catherine Frempoma for TV3 News.